Does your OCD threaten you and say, if you do this, you're gonna ruin whatever it is? It's common, we're gonna talk all about it. Stay tuned, that's what's up next. Hi, my name is Natasha Daniels. I'm a therapist and I make videos for people with anxiety or OCD. And today I wanna to talk to you about a common thing that OCD does, a common intrusive thought. And it's like, don't ruin blank, right? Don't ruin this moment for me. Don't ruin my birthday. Don't ruin my favorite object or my favorite toy. Don't ruin this relationship. Don't ruin whatever. Don't ruin my favorite movie, my favorite song. It's a hook that OCD uses to get you stuck on OCD. And it will set, it will start off with an intrusive thought that's like, don't ruin. And then, it will give you a list of rules. If you do this, this, and this, you're gonna ruin it. If you are unhappy when it's your birthday, you're gonna ruin it. If somebody is arguing during Christmas, it's gonna ruin it. If you know something happens while I'm watching my favorite show, it's ruined. If my hands are contaminated and I touch my favorite toy, it's ruined. So it can, it can cross over different OCD themes, but it is about contamination. It's about something that you love, whether it's a person, thing, place, experience, that is gonna be contaminated if you're not following OCD's rules. And that will look different for each one of you. For my daughter, it's if anyone argues during something that's supposed to be fun, which actually could literally be anything, but we're on a vacation, or it's someone's birthday, and then somebody bickers with someone, that has ruined everything. Now, ironically, the thing that is ruining that special thing for you is, wait for it, drum roll, OCD. OCD is ruining that. This is the thing that boggles my mind, uh, which it shouldn't because OCD is so irrational and it doesn't make any sense. But the thing that is actually destroying your favorite movie or show or song or birthday or your favorite toy or object or person is OCD, right? OCD is saying, here's this perfection. And if you touch it when you came back from school or you had a bad thought while you were doing that or um, somebody bickered while this was this perfect situation, like I said, it's so different for each person it's ruined and the fallout from it being ruined makes it actually worse. It actually is the part that ruins it. Um, when we bicker on vacation, we move on. It could be a five second thing and then we're moving on. But the fallout for my daughter, where it's like everything is ruined, the whole trip is ruined, the whole week is ruined, right? That OCD is ruining for her. Right? OCD is taking one little small event that was like a 30 second hiccup and it's ruining her whole trip for her. She's come a long way and so it, luckily it doesn't ruin it for her because we're like, oh, OCD is trying to ruin the whole trip. But guess what? OCD doesn't get to choose whether it ruins a trip because trips aren't perfect. People are going to bicker. You're not going to always be happy because we're still human on a trip. We're still human on a birthday. We're still human on Christmas, right? I have worked with people who have objects in their room that are their favorite objects that they won't touch because they don't want to ruin them. Well, OCD's already ruined it. You can't play with it or touch, touch it or interact with it. Your object, OCD is making your favorite things so stressful because you're buying into the OCD lie. You're believing that if I just follow all these rules, I won't ruin it. And yet, your show, your song, your favorite person, your favorite objects, those are all getting ruined because OCD is ruining it. Not because you're not perfectly following OCD's rules and restrictions, or you didn't do it right, or oh my gosh, your elbow touched your favorite object and now it's ruined, or oh my gosh, you had a bad thought while you're watching that show and now it's ruined. No, that's not what ruined it. What ruined it was, you know what I'm gonna say, OCD. OCD is ruining these things for you, nothing else. And the more you really buy into the lies that OCD is telling you and believe that, that OCD is right, that as long as I follow all these rules, that these things will be perfect, 
then you'll never get out of the hooks of OCD. And it will get worse and worse, unfortunately, because OCD doesn't just have a list of rules. It grows them. It plants doubt. Are you sure you felt okay when you were watching that show? Are you sure your finger didn't touch that object? Maybe you can never go in your room because something is gonna contaminate it. And so I have all these beautiful things that I love, but I gotta shut the door and no one can go in there. It's causing me more stress. So when I realize that no matter what I do, I will somehow ruin the things I love, whatever that is for you, because life is messy, metaphorically and literally, and things will get ruined according to OCD no matter what, because the OCD will always find something that ruins it some of the time. And it will also give you more lists and more demands of what you have to do to make sure that it doesn't get ruined. So the way to get through OCD, to crush OCD, is the hard way, which is to acknowledge that things won't be perfect and that following OCD's rules will only make things worse and is actually ruining the things that you love because it's causing so much stress and that the way to work through this over time, and it will take time, is to slowly not follow OCD's rules, to slowly accept that OCD is going to say that this is ruined. It's not ruined, but OCD will always say that it is ruined. It will find a way to say that it got ruined somehow. It got contaminated or it got ruined or it wasn't perfect. OCD will always find that and it will always whisper to you, it's not, it's ruined. And so the goal is to recognize that's an OCD thought and that nothing is ruined that everything's perfectly imperfect the way that it should be and OCD will always find something wrong with what is happening and that you're going to slowly stop following OCD's rules which are OCD's compulsions right you know you have to do this or avoid that or say this or don't touch that or wash this whatever it is for you because it will be different for each one of you but ask yourself what are OCD's rules about ruining them something and what are some small rules that I can like stop following to get off of the hamster wheel of what is OCD. It's hard because it will make you feel really uncomfortable and it will make you feel nervous. But over time, those OCD muscles will get stronger and stronger and you'll be able to do more and more resistance and not give into OCD. And then when OCD whispers to you, it's ruined. That favorite thing that you love is ruined. You go, it's actually not OCD. The thing that's ruining it is you. And now that I'm not listening to you, it's actually not ruined because everything is perfectly imperfect and it's fine just the way it is. I know that can feel so far away, but start with the small steps. The first, first step in all of this is understanding how OCD is ruining these things for you. Understanding that it's OCD. Even if you still have to do the compulsions and you have to still do all the rules that OCD is saying, at least start to get the insight that you're doing them for nothing, even though you feel like you still have to do them, and that it's OCD that is ruining everything for you. And target OCD. That's the goal. Well, I hope that you find the sparkle in everything you do, and I'll talk to you again next Thursday. If you want in-depth support, I do have a whole course, Crushing OCD for Kids and Teens. You can check it out at atparentingsurvivalschool.com, where I've got courses for parents and courses for you directly. Take care.